Hello, my name is Marc and I am from the French part of Switzerland. Today we are going to uh, see how to set up a manual white balance. Let's enjoy my French accent. Our setup here is the following. We have two PTZ Optics camera connected to um, the Atom Mini Pro plus one Canon camera who is as well connected to HDMI uh, into the Atom Mini Pro going into USB to the computer uh, on OBS and we stream from OBS. I search a lot on the internet, finding a little bit part here, a little bit part here. And that's why I made this video to have a full video about when we are speaking about white balance, we need a, a, a white that is white. But the first question is, what is white? Well, it depends on the lights, obviously. Our eyes are amazing because they can adjust automatically. If you see a white wall, you would know that is a white. But the camera does not. Obviously, you need a good lining first for your camera. Before doing anything, you need a good lining. The other question is, um, I need a reference. I need to know precisely uh, how to adjust my white or at least my two camera together to have something good on both camera. In general, uh, TVs and cameras are working uh, with three colors, the red, the green and the blue, RGB. Because with these three colors, you can make almost every color on, on, on the earth. It has been used a lot of time in the old television system and uh, today it's still the same and uh, usually the green is the reference. That means that the green is as it is and you can adjust the red and the blue as we will see on the camera. So obviously when uh, we are talking about reference and true white, we need something to measure it and something to, uh, to have some input that we can trust. The white on the computer uh, is 255, 255, 255 on RGB and the black is 0, 0, 0. So the half is 126, 126, 126. I found that those bars are good to see if this uh, magenta is really magenta and the red is really red and the blue is really blue as well. So I found some color bars on the internet and how to set up according to the uh, color bars. But it was really difficult and finally I found a way to adjust it. So we will look at it in a moment. This is a particular gray. It's called 18% gray on photography. The particularity of this uh, gray, which is halfway between a true black and a white white, is that it will reflect all color. Mm -hmm. That's not interesting, isn't it? Because if it's not accurate, you will see some bluish, some greenish, or other color that will reflect. On photography, this gray is uh, used sometimes. Um, I have the other card that is used on photography, which is this one. Uh, this card is used uh, on Photoshop and on photography to adjust the color and, and the color will be a very uh, nice. I tried to um, print on my uh, work a big sheet of this gray, which is the, um, uh, the, the, the 18 gray, and I put on the front of the camera. I found uh, that Vmix has some graphs, and we will look at particularity, the vector scope and the parade RGB. So uh, obviously you have all these bars that you look at behind me. Uh, we have some graphs and now we need to make all these things together and to adjust with the graphs and the color, uh, your, your camera and your input settings and everything. 
For the purpose of this video, I will use Vmix, which has the waveform built in. So let's go on the computer. So I'm going to this uh, little um, icon here and I have all my settings. You have here this uh, icon and you have all this uh, waveform monitor that you can uh, look at. So let's go to the waveform RGB. The uh, line below is zero. What does that mean? We will look at maybe more on the parade. So the line below is zero. What means that is really black. Up here on, on the top line that is 100% and that would be a white white. So the bar uh, on, on the bottom is 0%, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now what Vmix does here, it takes the R the red signal and put it on the graph uh, and represent it on the level. How much red do I have on the pictures? So the left on the pictures, the left on the pictures is this, is here and the right pictures is here. Now, the mix is doing the same for the green and the same for the blue. And now, now that's the exact same graphs. The only thing is that all the three lines are one under the other one. I have the basic of Vmix, so it's not, uh, I cannot have the full HD, uh, so that's why you have those uh, very strange bars here. So you have all this around the colors, the different color, and the, the red, that is the red on uh, the pictures, is uh, on the color bar is this one and the violet is this one the magenta i would say the blue and the cyan the green and the yellow and on on some other pictures that we will look at and uh, you have the halfway and you can as well those um, color uh, that is the inside it's a little bit if you can see it's a little bit brighter and this one is a bit darker so you can go to color and make some adjustment and now bing now just by adjusting the saturation we can see that now the red is on the red the magenta is on the magenta all of the six colors are now matching so if you go down with the saturation obviously you will see that the saturation is missing just by the screen, you, you cannot tell if it's okay or not. But with the graphs, you can really now make the saturation as it should. And now we have something accurate. And now if we turn the hue, you can see that it's moving and all the color are off, totally off. So that's what the hue is doing. And you can obviously adjust that to uh, the camera as well. And as I said, I made this picture with the, um, I think it's 0% uh, percent and 25% percent of gray, uh, like an overlay of gray. And we can see that ching, 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 ching. The pictures is accurate. I made this uh, gray picture and we can see that here, this is the gray. Obviously, it's nice and gray, and we can see that the line is really on the spot of the 50% uh, line. And you can see that the black lines are even made here on the zero. And this is really, really uh, nice to see that is working. Let's see on the vector scope. Vector scope, we see a little dot here on, on, on the middle. It's even noticeable. So uh, we see that it's working as well because there is no color. So let's have a look on those gray bar. So I have um, uh, 10 bars of uh, gray and uh, we can see uh, all these stairs. So we can see that the black on the left is at zero 
and the gray on the, 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 the next on the left is at 10 percent and then 20 etc until 100 the white is white so you can see that the uh, the lines the, the the pictures i made are correct according to uh, the vmix uh, waveform monitor and of course here on the uh, vector scope we have no color because we have no color I am aiming the, uh, this gray card on a waveform monitor that uh, obviously it, there is too much blue. The manual settings, let's go back. So you can always play with the red and the blue because the, um, the green would be the reference. So the game here is to have all those three lines on the same spot, I would say. I go to the one push button. It's calculating. And from, from there, I can adjust now my um, blue, which is too much. And that is good. Look at that. Maybe a little bit more, one, two. So now you have to play up. That is too much. I'm happy with it. And let's have a look on my vector scope. You can see this little dot on the middle. If it's white or if it's black or gray, you will have this spot here in the middle. And um, now you can see that it's a little bit aiming to the blue. So this is the blue, this is the blue direction. So now I have too much blue and we see that is between blue and uh, magenta. And we can see that it is on the screen, looks the same. I forgot to tell you that these lines here is aiming the color of the skin to have your uh, skin tone according to this line, which is um, a nice feature as well. And we can see on the graph that the gray is gray. It looks good now on my screen. With this tool, you need to dig into it. It does take time, but as uh, we saw, the result now is nice and uh, your uh, white balance is correct. Unfortunately, today there is no built-in vector scope and waveform monitor on the OBS. I found something that in December someone made something that I put on the description below. You have to put these uh, lines on the batch file on the same folder as the FFmpeg that you just downloaded with the link and do just play it and you see the result. It's quite um, a little bit different, but it does the same job as well as VMIX. I found another uh, vector scope program that is as well on the link below. I think it's around 10 to 20 dollar. You can uh, buy it and uh, I haven't tested, but the owner of this program told me that it's working with any programs and it does the jobs with any programs. So you can, uh, Use it as well. If you have some free vector scope or cheap vector scope on the internet, put it on the link below as well. It will be very helpful. As I said, all the links are on the description below. You can download it freely. This is the tool I made available for you. I hope you found this video useful. Put a thumb up if you liked it and see you next time.